Good morning, boys and girls. For today's science lesson, we are working in our unit, Waves, Light, and Sound. Our lesson today is all about light, sounds, and engineering. Our learning objective is students will learn how lights and sounds can help people find their way. For today's lesson, we are investigating with mystery science. So I'm going to play a read along called, How Do Boats Find Their Way in the Fog? And through this story, we're going to learn how we can use sights and sounds to help us find our way. I will play our video for us. Hi, it's Doug. Today, you're going to read a story, but this isn't just a story. It's a story about asking questions and learning how to figure out the answers. This story is about Gabrielle, who goes for a boat ride with her aunt. She finds out that there are boats going everywhere. How do they know where they're going? How do they keep from crashing into one another? You're going to read about Gabrielle's adventure. As you read, you'll also get up and move, look for clues, and talk about your ideas. Let's turn the page and get started. Hi, my name is Gabrielle. I'm visiting my auntie. She works on a boat in San Francisco Bay. Auntie is the captain of a tugboat. Tugboats help big ships move around the bay. Today, I get to go on the boat with her. But before we go, in the middle of breakfast, I hear a terrible sound. Flat. It sounds like something huge and scary. What was that? I ask Auntie. Was it a monster? Don't worry, Auntie says. You'll find out soon enough. I thought maybe the sound came from a big gray fog monster. Or maybe it was the sound of a whale. Or maybe it was the bridge moving in the wind. Let's stop and talk. Gabrielle doesn't know what's making the noise. What do you think it could be? Click the arrow on the right to continue. So let's stop and think. What could be making the noise that Gabrielle is hearing? What do you think it is? Is it a fog monster? Is it a whale? The bridge moving? Let's read on to find out what it is. On the bay, that sound is really helpful, Auntie tells me. I don't know how a monster can be helpful, but once I get on the boat, I forget to be afraid. Out on the water, there's so much to see. There are so many boats. I wonder, do the boats ever run into each other? Let's get up and move. Let's be boats. Start your engines. Chugga chugga. Sound your horn. Toot toot. Watch out for rocks and other boats too. Click the arrow on the right to continue. Auntie toots the boat horn. I'm signaling so other boats know we're here, she says. I toot the horn even more when it's foggy or dark. What are those things floating in the water? I ask. Those are buoys, Auntie says. Some are green, some are yellow, and some are red. 
What are they for? I ask. Why are they different colors? Red and green buoys tell boats where to go, Auntie tells me. Yellow buoys tell boats where not to go. Boats on the water are kind of like cars on the road, Auntie says. Remember when your mom drove you to my house? There were lots of cars, but they didn't crash. Let's stop and talk. Can you find things in these pictures that help cars travel safely on land and boats travel safely on water? Click the arrow on the right to continue. So what are some things that help cars travel safely on land and boats travel safely on water? If we look at our pictures, for the car side, I see that there is a traffic light and it's red, so that means the cars are stopped. Another thing is this sign. This sign and this sign over here, they tell the cars the speed limit. So how fast they should go on that stretch of the road. And then here, we can see that there's a railroad track and the cars are stopped right before it. Now we don't see a train, but if we look at these lights here, and we can tell that this light by these lines that it's, um, it's lit, we can tell by these lights and this little bar across that there is a train coming. And when trains go on the train tracks, we don't want cars to go on the train track. So these lights and the bar, they tell cars to stop away from the tracks to let the trains go by. And if we look here, we see the buoys that we remember the yellow ones tell boats were not to go and then we can see that this boat probably has a horn so it's telling out where the other boats where they are and then this here the lighthouse it provides light so that boats can see each other on the water there are a lot of things here in these pictures that help us learn how cars and boats travel safely Let's read on. I think I get it. On the road, lights, sounds, and colors help tell cars where to go. On the water, lights, sounds, and colors help tell boats where to go. Auntie says different kinds of buoys make different sounds. Buoys can ring like bells. Sometimes they even whistle. When my mom drove me to auntie's, we were in a car on top of the bridge. Now we're sailing under the bridge. We've made it to where the bay starts. This is where tugboats meet big ships coming in from the sea. Look! There's fog coming in. We can't see very far anymore. Even the bridge has disappeared in the fog. Let's stop and talk. Fog makes it hard to see. How will the big ship find its way? How will Gabrielle and her auntie find their way home? Click the arrow on the right to continue. So let's stop and think. How will the big ship find its way when the fog rolls in? How will Gabrielle and her auntie find their way home? What do we know about boats? And ways that 
they can travel safely on the water? What do we know about these things and how can they help us answer this question? I think one way that will help the big ship find its way is the horn that it has. Because it will be able to tell other boats where it is. Also, maybe the lighthouse and its big light will help the boat find its way home. Let's read on. Look! The lighthouse is sending its beam out to sea. It's helping the big ship find its way. Auntie smiles. That's right, she says. In the fog, I can't see the buoys, but I can hear them. Auntie says the sounds tell her where we are. The lighthouse and buoys are helping the big ship too. But then I hear the same noise I heard this morning, only 10 times louder. Blat. It's coming from the bridge. What is that? I ask Auntie. It sounds like a monster. Is the lighthouse a monster? Auntie asks. Are the ringing buoys monsters? I laugh. Those aren't monsters. They help us find our way. Right, says Auntie. The big noise helps too. It's called a foghorn. The foghorn is on the bridge. When ship captains hear that sound, they know where the bridge is, even in the fog. There's the big ship coming out of the fog. Auntie knows what to do. She toots her horn, and the big ship knows we're there. The ship's captain is happy to see us. Auntie and her tugboat will help the big ship find its way to the dock. Auntie watches for the light from the lighthouse. She listens for the foghorn and the sounds of the buoys. Auntie's tugboat guides the big ship to the dock. Then she takes us home. In bed that night, I hear the noise of the foghorn, but it doesn't sound like a monster at all. I know it's helping boats find their way home. The end. Now that we've learned about how boats can find their way in the fog, through the sights and sounds. Here's our activity. I would like for you to answer the question below. Draw and write your ideas. What is one way we can send a message with sound? When you're done answering, please take a picture of your work and upload it to our portfolio page. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.